Procreate Animation 101. To start animating in Procreate, you're gonna hit the gear button. In that gear button, you're gonna have multiple options. You're gonna have add, canvas, share, video, etc. You're gonna go over here to canvas. Canvas has a drop down, which you have animation assist, which is what you wanna hit. Bing! And that's gonna bring you your first frame. And for today's animation, we're gonna do a simple bouncing ball. And I'm gonna start by drawing a ball up top. Now in Procreate, each layer is considered a frame. So if you were going to add another frame, you could either come down here and hit add frame, or you can go up into your layers and hit a plus button. That also adds a frame. Single layer will equal one frame, or a single group will equal one frame. For today's video, we're working with just single layers because this is the basics. So we're gonna start with the ball at the very top. We're gonna to add this next frame. Now this does have onion skin. You hit settings, you can change both your frame rate and your onion skin. An onion skin just shows you forwards and backwards of your previous frame and your frame in front of it. I actually like to work in 12 frames per second most of the time here, unless I'm going in dreams, which I work in 24. Now, like most things in gravity, if we were to draw just the simple shape and I was to duplicate this and I was gonna bring this down, right? If you haven't watched anything about timing, please leave a comment and I'll make a video about where to time things on your animation to make them look more natural and appear appealing. But for this sake, we're gonna give it a little bit of anticipation. So it gets to the top and it's gonna come down and it's gonna pick up speed. I'm gonna use something here called squash and stretch. So when something is falling down, visually it might stay the same, but gravity's gonna pull on it just a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna give it more of an oval shape, right? So it's gonna come down and it's gonna stretch out a little bit. If you hold it down and procreate, it's gonna auto snap to more of a perfect circle. And then I'm gonna come to the next next frame and it's really starting to fall now. So this is gonna space a little further apart like this and stretch out just a little bit more. And this is cool tool. If you tap the top here, once you have it snapped, you can play with it a little bit afterwards to get it more to your liking. I didn't know that until later on while working with procreate, cool tip. And then I'm gonna do the next frame and it's gonna still gonna be it's still gonna be stretched out, so I could technically just duplicate this and bring this down a little further, and then it's gonna hit the bottom here, and it's going to squash. So it's gonna be because part of it is still falling, it's gonna look more like this. Although that was terrible, I'm gonna try that again. It's gonna look more like that, right? And then the next frame is gonna be real stretched out like this. And then I'm gonna to go to settings and I could redraw every little step or I could come in here and I could just duplicate them and move them over. But I'm feeling lazy tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit ping pong. And ping pong just says, you're gonna have a loop where it's just gonna play in a loop where it falls. Ping pong is gonna do what it says. It's gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that way it looks like it's going up and down you really like this animation, you're like, hey, I'm upgrading to Procreate Dreams, go ahead and either A, watch this video on Procreate Dreams 101, or B, which you'll probably want to watch with it anyway, Procreate Dreams and how to export it from one place to the other. I could bump this up to 24 frames per second to make it a little more fun and animate on something called twos and threes. So, if you're like, hey, I really want to hold this for two frames to make it last a little bit longer, you don't have to do, like, you can duplicate them, but you're gonna get bogged down because at a certain point, Procreate has a max amount of layers for one animation, and you're gonna max out at a certain point, which is why going to Procreate Dreams for animating is so nice, because they don't have a limit. You don't have to duplicate this to get it to, to hold on for a phrase. You can say hold duration, and I'm gonna ho hold duration for one, two, or three, or, or however many frames, right? So I'm gonna hold that up in the air for one, and then it's gonna come down fast, and then it's gonna squish, and it's gonna hold for an extra second, right? Or an extra frame. So it's gonna kind of stall a little bit. I, technically, I could give it more of like an anime look and hold it on two, and then hold it on one, right? And it's kind of this up and down claymation type feel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Your feedback is very valuable to me. If you like my content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time.